it's okay to be uncomfortable. In recent months, there has been an effort to anger and scare people about something called CRT, or critical race theory. In the words of the Bible, be not afraid. Lots of people are either angry or scared about CRT without knowing what it is. So here you go. Critical race theory is a complex area of study that has been around since the 1970s. It is a college level, data-driven area of advanced academic study. It has never been taught in North Carolina or any other K through 12 schools. It's not going to be taught in any K through 12 schools. Any politicians or people on social media who are trying to get you all fired up about the teaching of CRT to your grade school children are lying to you. But this goes much further, darker, and deeper than just politicians and others lying to you. These people want you to fear CRT in our grade schools because they don't want our children taught the truth or anything, even age-appropriate lessons about the history of race in America. Because even though the complex study of CRT isn't going to be taught in our grade schools, it is entirely appropriate to teach our children age-appropriate truths about the history of our country, including truths about race. I'm not a social studies teacher, but I did teach in elementary and middle schools for 30 years and have known many social studies and history teachers. And I can give you a general idea of what an age-appropriate lesson on the history of race in America might be like. For a more detailed description, I suggest you ask a social studies teacher. Your elementary school child might be taught about the fact that black people were brought to this country against their will and were enslaved. Your child may come home from a lesson like this and feel sad. If she does come home after hearing about slavery and feels sad, you as the parent need to understand that this means the teacher has done the right thing by telling the truth and teaching our real history. And your child has done the right thing by having empathy and compassion for people who suffered evil treatment. It's okay for her to be sad, and these feelings of sadness, empathy, and compassion will make her a kinder and better adult. A middle school age-appropriate lesson on race in America might include the fact that Jim Crow laws, separate bathrooms, separate swimming pools, sitting on the back of the bus, etc., existed after slavery ended and that these laws violated the rights of black Americans. The middle school lesson might include data such as the fact that far more black people than white people are incarcerated or the fact that for the exact same crime, a white man is much more likely to get a slap on the wrist and probation as punishment while a black man is likely to serve a maximum prison sentence. These facts are not up for debate. They are established and known from data. Your middle school child may come home angry and asking questions about this piece of American history. If he does, this means that the teacher has done the right thing by telling him the truth and prompting him to think. And it means your child has done the right thing by listening, learning the truth, and asking questions. If your child is made angry or uncomfortable by these truths, that's okay. It's okay to be uncomfortable. The only way we can avoid the evils of our past is to learn about the evils of our past. Being uncomfortable sometimes is just a part of life, and I promise your child will survive it. As an unrelated example, it may be uncomfortable to have to tell your child, son, you have let your grades drop too low for you to play your favorite sport this season. You're going to have to bring your grades up if you want back on the team. This is a truth your child may not want to hear, and you as a parent may not want to hear it either. But both kids and adults must face uncomfortable truths and figure out what to do next. For the uncomfortable middle school social studies student, who comes home unhappy about America's real past, just remember, people who have learned the truth and have empathy for those who have been wronged are a lot less likely to repeat those wrongs. 
They are much more likely to have empathy and compassion for other human beings and will grow up to be adults who stick up for the rights of all their neighbors. And isn't that what we all want?